Oh, come back. Let's see what I can do. This is a tuck to. Um, listen. Do Makoto. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Saka? Let's get to talk to Saka. Um. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry, making you take time out of your day like this. Do my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. As you can see, I can press it. Yes, yeah, sure. Do we have one? Did I give her. Uh, what? Why would you even tell me? Oh, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Um. Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Oh. <laughs> Maybe my said really makes you feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you aren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we have to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Sending your face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know you feel you being here is what saved me. Ah. Really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. So you smile that softens my heart. It really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. It's kind of strange, you know. Never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All well, through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. Because you're like a celebrity, I couldn't just go around staring at you. <laughs> Wait, how'd you never know if I looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Aww. <laughs> huh? I... I was looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had some people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. Those are my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, the huge bird watered at the school pond? Actually, I think about it. I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It's like a fairy tale. The turtle once... Every million years, that were that bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been. How am I supposed to know a crane? Let's go with the heron. It was a heron, wasn't it? Oh no! No, not okay. It was similar, but even bigger than that. Like a heron figure. That'd have to be a huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year. A crane. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it to the forest behind the school. He helped it fight its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school, they made me do it. You see? I should have thanked you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I am that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor here. Let me take you a cloak. What? <laughs> okay, this is just kidding. Yeah, yeah, I kind of forget figured. But... Also, though, I was so impressed. That's why I was wanting to talk to you in just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this to be how I got my chance. Yeah, we meet together on the train station somewhere downtown. That'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. That said, it's the weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you, besides my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Yep, go she's psychic. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she, as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smell of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. So I work is actually based on your experience with her. Let's go, melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Okay. Once you're all done, head back to him for a little while. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that 
point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Not for that amount of comma bite. Today has already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. As we begin the slide closed, the conversation happens back in the morning began to replay. Wait, it's almost frustrating. If I understood where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. Pressure Center is way different from anything a normal high school like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel the things the way feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't make match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. Sure, you notice the killing game has begun, but we're still in for a little laughter. These are new students already so filled with desperate souls of hope of escape. Okay, so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! Oh, great. Hope. If there's any hope. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Again, we can't look outside. How is this? No, it's beautiful. Morning has come. What should you do today? Free time again! Oh, okay. And I don't know what else to do. That's free time. Uh, I don't know. Who do I want to talk to this time? About you, because I can see you there. Hey, you bastard! Wait, do we gotta, we gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. <laughs> I'm so shaking with you. Uh, sure. Is it like? I mean, unless you kill me, are you? <laughs> you. I was like, if you do, I'm as pop as any international superstar. <laughs> If you're not gonna worry, let's hang out. I re don't really want to be alone anyway. Let's take Leon. Hey, we're really closer today. Give you pre I don't have any presents. Huh, uh, I'm, I'm just pissed off. Hey, you bastard! Why? Why is this happening to me? This isn't fair, man. I mean, what? Am I wrong? No. Oh, um. Yeah, it really isn't. Hey. All right. Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. <laughs> I was like having to shave my head for every baseball game. Well, I mean, you just do that, right? You... Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? I don't even want to play, but the coach and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. Then it made me shave my head, just because it's tradition. How's that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight, I do. It was fun running around on field, dusty field for three hours. But for baseball players, it feels like secret ground, isn't it? Hmm. But it's so not cool, spending all that time at practice getting covered in sweat and dirt. Hey, listen! Just base right, it's easy. Who needs practice? I think the gods picked the wrong person to bless with that much talent. Oh yeah? So I got that baseball wasn't all bad. I did have a few things going for it. You like the feeling of com camaraderie between all you and your teammates? I mean, seriously? Nah, nothing like that. I can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys are totally uncool. So then what did you like about it? <laughs> well hey, it's setting, right? But all I got still got into the super fancy school and a sports scholarship. As long as I keep playing, I never had to study. Oh. But besides that... <laughs> May super probably with ladies. Booyah, you jealous? Uh, you have a clothes pin on your shirt. That's really weird. I just noticed. I get to third base in more of the ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. Just kidding. Oh boy, so I see. <laughs> yeah, I get plenty more of that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyway, let's hang out again sometime. Talk to you, it helps to keep my mind off this place. So I'm gonna say, spring this step, Leon strolled away. I'm not sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Robot jacket is a pit. What the hell is this to be? That's a hit. There's too many little stuff around. What's this? 
told me earlier. Help. Uh, no. Uh. Oh. No, I don't care what the, what the thing is. Ah. Where was the thing that look at the control controls? Oh. So I don't remember F1 key. That's weird. Present. Do I even have presents? No. I A skull crest. I don't really think that matters. Yeah. See anything new about this? Hate studying, don't like baseball, hate practicing, good. Hey, ladies, I'm so, yep. so what the hell does this to me, robot shock? This is a chance to check that melodious voice. What does that skill system mean? Yeah, let's do it. Spend more time with Sayaka. <laughs> let's go for a walk. I think it helps cheer both of us up. So a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. I'm gonna go a little closer today. Guess I don't have any presents! I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. It's kind of so comfortable to hear that. Your day here? Wait, when will I? No, we. When are we going to get out of here? <laughs> I thought you remember it before. He said never. <laughs> Lay in my bed, stared blankly at the ceiling. Before I fell into an uneasy sleep. The theater again. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same thing. Same as giving it into regret. But I think it's about speed, of course. That's why Army One drivers are so popular. I need to accomplish something if they take it slow. This music is really loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me or not. So even a human piece of extra mech could create a mastery that spent the time to take it. Oh, God. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a fast stroke or a back stroke or press stroke. Drive is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is someone smarter than a graphic novelist. I think a speed is the gold standard in the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Yep. Six later. I don't know what the hell this is to mean, speed. It's the 7 a.m. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! This is all recording, isn't it? Because no one can say that same thing every time. Look at the irritating sound of Monokoma's voice. It's only falling out of the bed. Good. Another restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the f fatigue piling up. As soon as that crossed my mind. So the doorbell forces its way into my room. Hey! Oh. It's Kiyotaka. Fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, pardon me, interruption. I thought waiting for a reply. Taka parts in my room. What's up, Taka? 
No matter how intense the stormy seas they batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree then? Wait. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. You can't do it alone. Just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's it. You can overcome any storm. Mm -hmm. See what last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. That's when I realized. Everybody from now on, after the morning now, so everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! Now's the game that faithful day. Please, head to the dining hall. Terry, let's convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go. Everyone else know good news. Take it away from my play. He just turned left before I could say a thing. I expect head to the dining hall. Hold on. Alright, hopefully that should be much better. I don't know why the music went up. Uh, no? Uh, let me see. Dining hall. Oh, it's that way. So many people. Do it. Does it matter talk to? Eh, I don't know. You first. Listen to me. Come here, so let's begin on our very first breakfast meeting. <laughs> Quiet down and listen. Hey man, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. They don't have anything else to do. Give me a break. Make time for. I don't make time for shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I mentioned this earlier, but I right, got here. It is essential that we all cooperate with each other. First step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now, let's meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now let's eat. <laughs> you want to pick all the people? <laughs> I've never done that before, but I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? That's been well for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Sounds echoed through the dining hall. Seriously? Ser nothing at all. Hey. Anything about how to get out of here, or who's doing this? Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You're going to die. Huh? <laughs> Do you understand? You can't stop from showing weakness in front of others. You will die. That is stop true! It! You don't want to, like, show your frustration because you make such an easy target. What, what the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. A stability, survivability. Did I not say so? She is known for you poker faces. So better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? You're completely insane and not to me to live here. Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? It doesn't go to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way I'm living in here. I gotta get out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, sure, feel free. Huh. Uh... So nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone is totally weird and messed up. I must be trapped in here in the first place. Hey, listen! Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Huh... What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, I think maybe the person responsible for this could be... Murderous Fiend. Shahira, do you have some idea who they might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainly, it is not a concern right now. Oh, uh, many... Whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... You guys heard of... Genocide Jack. No. The circular that's been in the news and all over the internet. Hmm. Watch this villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. Her bloodlust has left was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Ooh. Where it is, it like he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. In a, in a, they still calling him hmm. Genocide Jack. That's what covers it, I think. <sighs> They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just urban legend though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Hmm. I mean, whoever Genocide Jack is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? If he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But they're the killer. Isn't that some kind of... Isn't that like a kill of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. <laughs> help? Cause I mean... Second here a few days already, right? No way they'll contact us, so I'm sure they're already getting worried. But they call the police already. <laughs> oh, What's it's this? that. The police? You're pretty faithful. The police? Bastard! What are you doing here? 
You guys. Seriously, do you understand what role the play exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or into hero or evil organization. Bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you really want to lay such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are you laughing? You know? Just the present the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. Oh, Mr. Sirik is a psycho freak bastard. What the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe. <laughs> hey, come on. We know who you really are. Hmm. If you ignore him, he'll just go away. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun. In a couple days, it's gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. <laughs> Not all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you're working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! I think, yes, ding, 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 I figured it out. In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here, right, people? Right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's why I could understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you... Shing! Oh, no, I'll tell you, it's motive. <laughs> it's so <laughs> simple. Also, to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking motive. around! What are you talking about? Hey, um... This thing I really want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject! Hmm... Maybe the video like you ought to see... Oh, is someone... Is he gonna exploit somebody's Ooh, weakness? How exciting! Wait, wait, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. <laughs> Seriously, something like that. Oh. This is made for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside school? What are you talking about? Hello. Yeah. Oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm... You can just go to the specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. You. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, you must know. Despair. That's all. Well, now. I know more than that. You'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. Don't even need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> the answer is interesting as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> it's not music from you, too. <laughs> and he's gone. Um, he's gone. Let's get here left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? You really think we certainly learned something very useful. He has no change of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Chris, what about the video I mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so. Let's start glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze on to me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, we'll go check this out for us, <laughs> Huh? Why me? Yo. Guys, you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? That's all the answer. Rule. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. hey. hey whatever. Piece of shit! Stop fucking around! He's passionately begging you. What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I'll go so get going. Hell yeah! Awesome, thanks. Oh, you went. What the hell is this shifted personality before you almost beat him up? Hey, um. Who's going? I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. He ain't gonna do shit. Um... Can I say his is totally dependable or completely terrible? Yeah, I have to say he's kind of both. <laughs> he's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Hmm. So, where's the specific place Monokoma mentioned? Must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... It's a place to set up watch DVDs, then... Uh... No... F1. Where's the map? Dining hall. Warehouse, kitchen, bathhouse, sauna. That's a school. That's a school store. I know that. Oh, it's laundry. Girls' bathroom, nurse's office, hallway, AV room. Okay. Let's go there because there's an AV room. Did I walk past it? That sounded like something. What, what is this? Those are boom boxes. Something inside this cover box. DVDs. Um. A bunch of DVDs. And each one is labeled with someone's name. Uh oh. I'll see the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a go second. Tell everyone. She just ran off. 
I didn't follow after, I just stood right there where I was. The in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was reading in place. I think I see something. I do to play. They said, this is a good player. That's a dread, certainly dark seat then. It's his parents? I realized it, and my heart started racing because I saw the monitor. It was a family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. Leave my family behind to attend Hope's Peak. It would have given me hope, given me strength. This is a normal school. I would have been happy if a little embarrassed. The family support to land, I wouldn't have motivated to do it even better. But here now, it's totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. Hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Oh, what the shit? Couldn't even make a sound. The voice just died. Where did we go? Looks like a war zone or something. Except in reply, a voice came playing other speakers. Working his course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Was it like... Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Really? What's this? Is this? What happened to everyone? So trembling. I can feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! So I my fist against the desk over and over. A single thing so you can my mind. What else? How can you think about anything else? I'd get out of here. I'd get out of here right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? Um, I don't have to make sure he's safe. That's what I'm saying around the entrance review. They stare at me, faces full of confusion. Um, What's going on? Alright, I point to the camera box. Is it like. What Nakomo's talking about? What does this mean? What's on them. They'll gather around the box, each of them got the with their name on it. One of them each rushed to a monitor. Didn't take long for them to react. What the? This can't be real. Hey, it's pretty fake, right? Hey, hold hey, on. No way, it's real. Huh? No way. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> can't anymore. Let me out of here. This is how I I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. They didn't bother trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Everyone, everyone knows she's totally calm. I see. I see. So this is me and my vote. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be her. It was a fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Here's an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace. Each commits to scaling back their forces to stand in good faith. But there's a chance that one country might betray the other, so each country fears each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that, that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone say they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put the awful thoughts in our heads. That's what exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can't say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just. What? What, what? is? Hey. Exactly what Moko or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight. Don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need yeah. to calm down. So then. Okay, maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe just talk about what we saw. Then we have help get everything out of the system. Hmm. I think we we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in Rain's videos. Well, I said it wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your What's problem? Wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka. Gently face my hand on her shoulder. Stop it. She pushed my hand away. My hand away suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic causes. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? Because they're totally thoughtless. Um. I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go wherever you think you have to? We don't have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. I think I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. I don't know. Do I just talk to these people anyway? Uh, Some kind of hoax, right? Right? I don't think so, but... What the heck? What the hell, man? <laughs> it's all one big guy. has to be. 
What's your video, Taka? I saw. Sorry, it's gonna take me to figure out how to put into words. Oh, Chihiro. What should I do? Really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How can you say like that? You think this? I don't understand. I don't. Be able to do something like that is because they really are the murderous fiend. It's in video Hifumi. Um, yeah. So it would Where you seem. Else? It's only polite that you say what you saw in your first video. Start. Well, I. Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. I don't hear yours. Not to say mine. It's art of seeing no evil. You hear no evil. Speak no evil. I think that's how it works. What's in video Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. I'm not upset by what I saw. You're overpowered. You must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I just believe that they would lose so easily. How? Was in a very video of Kyoko? Well. Why should I tell you? She reacted though. Well, I already talked to everybody I need to. Yes, leave the area. Let's go find Sayaka. Where should she have gone? She can go for I should check around the school. Okay. Oh, oi. Um. What's that going off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. Cause I mean. That's okay. It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real. There's nowhere to go to. Let's go downstairs. This is the room we were in before. That's Leon. Why is he in here? <laughs> I can tell you, that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. No mm, way. Hell no. No way in hell. You. So I can't go. So nice. I'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it! How the hell did they get footage of that? God, especially if they're crazy. Okay, I don't know why you're in here by yourself though. Hey, oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. So I went to. That there's a station doesn't work. It's a bathroom. So I probably do really. I guess I'll check around. Nothing. Okay. Is she in the women's and well I'm allowed to even go in there? Girls bet I just can't go in. Okay. What's this room? The store. Okay, that's a fancy looking store. Second like Japanese Western blend it seems like custard antique store. I don't know what that's doing, but okay. What's this? Oh, maybe if you turn that price will come out. It's like trying your hand against the almighty. <laughs> uh, what? Don't you say you're almost okay. You'll find coins scared at the school. These monocoins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many coins you currently have. Put the coins in the machine here, there's a chance you could win a prize. More coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Oh, it's presents. Uh, let's just give it a shot then. Let's use one. Uh, okay. Got Anta. What the hell is this supposed to be? Alright. Got an item. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let me get going. Any machine, guess it's a school store then. Yeah. Sorry for information for this sort of thought to you that worked. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's where the thing I can use these coins are. She go into class she might go into a classroom.
Sayaka, I found you. I had one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in chairs, hands on her knees, staring absently on the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have an expression at all. There was nothing in her face that you could call emotion. So her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? <coughs> what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? I want out. Let me out Why? of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. She's just trying to grab her by the shoulders. Huh? Huh? I understand. I know you feel it now. What I think it might happen to my family. I wonder that we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because the things really had happened. People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? Just calm down, okay? Otherwise, you've already lost. I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I can't repeat those words to myself to clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help may you come before uh, that. But what uh, if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? I if that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. I said that I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me! Voice is small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <laughs> Apparently she raised her face up from my, from my chest. Looked at me without those, with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can I, can I believe what you said? Huh? They help me get out? No matter what it takes? Uh, absolutely. Makoto! Kato, you're the only one I can trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my sister, after all. Makoto! Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I get this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant! Like you said, I'm your assistant. That smile had come to know us all so well returned to her face. I feel a little bit... Forced, but still. Huge remember for how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's the- Oh no! <laughs> What's Come the idea? Do you even have to ask? Yes. Your flagpole! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Just a minute! No, I wanna join in! Damn it! Well, if we won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with these videos. Uh, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out like pristine pure. Oh god. Yeah! Uh, to be honest, it is always about to come gushing out. I took aim as long as hard as I could. I had never put such energy in a single motion before in my life. I'm gonna channel all my power, let go with everything I had. Uh, are, are you okay? Hmm. If I didn't avoid your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! Bet. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. Yeah. Yeah. Down to thousand dollar full course dinner by the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um what the heck was that just now? You just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, For not you just want to head back. <laughs> yeah. Wanna come come along and so if you destroyed the good mood we just created. Say so I can head back to the dorms. Get some rest, Saka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. The nod and small bow. She disappeared into her room. Now on my own. I head up to tell me that Saka was okay. Once I was done, I said to go back to her room. It was hard to think uh, after watching that deranged video. I need some time, some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on in here? Just so many problems. I can't even say what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokomo? That Mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do those all feel the same? Yeah, it's definitely the biggest problem right now. Why is it dared immediately to the clock? It's almost ten o'clock, feels like even realizing it. Night about to start. How come someone's here? 
It's Sayaka. Sorry. Unless I come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's what I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so Sorry, brother, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Makoto. I was like sitting down in my room. All of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. Like someone was trying to force the door open. The door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. They started shaking the door harder and harder. It was so scared it couldn't even move. So, so what happened? Well, it just stopped. Let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force a way into your room. But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. If something like that happened in the middle of the night, what would I do then? You, you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during night time. But... Well, this is a promise you made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, that then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a bit better? Huh? What? Oh, it said in the score that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing a room is, you know... Ah. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... But I know me either. It's not that I mind the idea, but... If you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? I hope you put your mind at ease and that's totally fine with me. But I don't mind seeing you in my room. But, are you sure you're okay with me seeing yours? That doesn't sound like, because it doesn't like concern you. <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case then. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams of Yeah, I've heard that before again. Um... Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, you better trade keys too. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh? Aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? I think something's wrong with me. It's... Wait for you. Thank goodness, looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Here, I trade keys then. Okay. Let's do it. Change keys and we look back at her again. There's another worried expression there. Uh, um. Makoto, please be careful. Someone comes to the door. Don't open it, no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you a second. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of asking? Even switching. By the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You just have to turn the knob and lift up on the door when you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Um. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, sorry, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, by the way, what I said before. <laughs> it's a second. It really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. So that gave me one last parting sound. I head off to my room. Looked around as soon as she got into, as I got into the hall. Everything else starts to close. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. She always ran to a rest spot. You rushed into Sayaka's room. It's pink. That's the only difference I see. Sayaka's room really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. But it still looks like the same, but knowing Sayaka's sleep slept on it makes me feel look look forward to trying it for myself. Okay. That people's trash can be. It's about as DVD with the name. Alright, so you never did get to the in her video, but it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Yeah, n no, you're not going to look at her video. That's creepy. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't like rooting through her stuff, though. Where'd it go? Sun kit. Yep. I thought the body's vital organs. Go in. I don't think Sayaka would like me stooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. So lower myself to Sayaka's bed. Pleasant fragrance envelop me. Sayaka's scent. Okay. 
It'll bring me some sweet dreams. That's still creepy, Makoto. Look better than before. I fell asleep. Oh, this is so much quieter than last time. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We'd sort of like that. We're sort of like that. We'd set sail and left Earth behind. Hey, here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you won't have to stress about studying or finals for practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom is a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Good morning, everyone! It is not yet ready to greet another- Yeah, I'm just not gonna keep hearing that every time. I sat up still half asleep and rolled my eyes, slowly pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. Just remembered, I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. Better get going. Let's take his room, maybe I turned the dining hall. Oh. He'll be already gathered the dining hall by the time we got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto. Good morning. Can you believe it? I was the first, very first one, very first one here in the morning. This morning, not surprised. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. Figured everyone who had arrived at tank because they're model high schoolers. The ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well. I told hello. You, just, I'll turn my morning on. Duty took a little longer than usual. Where the types of the more relaxed and time most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who keep everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. I got guys slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? But it's... Is it so awful to be so late? Yo! They never sleep just, you know. Nope, got lost. I blame their review to triangle. <laughs> got time other people in general. They're kind of... They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, I'm still missing some people. Oh. Sayaka and Bayakoya aren't here yet. I don't know what Bayakoya, but I definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. Sorry to be late, so late. What? What's going on here? Did this thing happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why, Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did she forget about her breakfast promise? However, I get the sense she always has her stuff together. At least never out talk like that. A small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. That speck started to grow quickly. I I need to go. I have to go check on her. Or it's at I barely left my lips before the the hall. Right, head first was my room where I left Zack for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But of course that one night. Oh! I'm really completely transformed. What the hell? Of course, back back for self-defense, but taking out of its sheath. Probably where's Sayaka? Well, the keys are. Keys are going to the name out. It's supposed to be key. Give it to Sayaka when you trade rooms. There's too many things. The bed's been scratched. Let's check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Oh, is she dead? Oh, shit. Wait, why is this pink? I realized that I was screaming. So that gets way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black.
I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remember seeing before. I sat by someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah. Oh, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? Yeah. That's not time for sleep. Sleeping, get your ass up. Uh, um... I'm conscious I'd carry you back here. Well. Just surprised considering what happened. What happened? Um. Are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? Hmm. That's right, it really didn't happen. Sayaka is dead. Deep, dark despair worked his way through my body and then exploded out of me. Chapa took off running. Hmm. Hey, where do you think you're going? I see for myself, I just see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up! Check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I just see for myself. What? It's not so. Why do you think what? it's gonna happen if you get out of here? There. Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? Hey, why hang out in the gym like a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead? Why did you say that? It finally hit me. Hey, she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? <laughs> Shouldn't be obvious, Monokomo. He told us all to come here. <laughs> oh, hold on, don't talk like that. We all protect Presta. I mean, we remember the terror flight price Sayaka had to pay. But... So... And then want to convince him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to fight him without reason. Correct. We don't make any more sacrifice than we already have. Why well, should anything he has to say? It's obviously he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Well, someone school regulation. I absolutely will not interfere. I promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm Fifi, Miss at Safari Parks. So you have the rule for following the bear times one rule. But, but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! Right, now the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had to reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? What's the matter, you guys? I look like you're about to see a do dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't remember when I told you when all this began? Yeah! One decided to kill Sayaka so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules, there's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Oh, thingy, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other for a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? Someone, what is someone this? Someone killed someone? <laughs> it's amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold yeah, on. Hold on, I'll just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. When it's really to kill it, that person gets to graduate from this school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb, that's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's because... <laughs> naive, you're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone outside of, out of here? Hey! You're super naive, Come devilishly on naive. Now. Hellishly naive. Oh no, no, the real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now hey, ready? Let me explain the second part of the roller graded graduation. Oh god. Just like saying for you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, if you did that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... Which is rule number six of the school regulations. The black in that... If you're the black in that, that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to access... To assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time before murder is taking place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, it's all be it'll begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather, gather together, including the black and two committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. Oh. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Oh, great. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Oh. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. 
As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So exactly what is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm... What if it's simply... What? It's like execution. Yeah. Execution? What? Like, say, what do you mean? Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! Bzzz, bzzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, so make sure I understand. If we get the culprit then right, then only what only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed. Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or inquisition type thing. It means they'll be saying who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully because early lives are on the line. Uh-huh. Let me just add the rules I just described to your handbook. Make sure you keep it in mind. New rule. Hey! Hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? You know that? Huh? What the? A class trial. What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who made or murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment waits such blasphemy. The hell are you what talking about? Punishment? Hmm. I, might, I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Whatever, say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't, don't be so selfish. believe it! Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. I've got nothing. It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> Evil standing before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing! I don't give him to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to go out there, go ah! let's get through me first. I said that he came charging at us, so it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Oh. What? Why is this blood pink? Well. Well, does that mean she's dead too? <laughs> this wasn't supposed to. Why? Me? So then right the, at the end, her eyes shot wide open. Just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the? I don't... Uh, this can't be real. Yeah! No way! Well now! I think they were the great power and you never promise. I'm gonna keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. I guess I'll need to be taught a lesson. After all, ah, oh, what an amazing promise. Now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Check this buddy, I'm with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It's the first time I've ever seen the the moment someone else's Someone's life came to an end. Remember, they could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who just until a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was death of a human being. Hey, um. It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. She just went and died. It's more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. Just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comment, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. <laughs> Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you wanted to kill wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Damn it! Come on, what do you take from from me for? I'm Monokomo. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I say like give you help and search for for the blackened. Ta da! This little file is all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it. It's. The Monokuma file! Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with the corpse. So, I gather everything you know about these circumstances and cause of death. Mm. So, how do you know the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got 
Got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. Then I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial. How, how could I? Correct. It's a good plan. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class in a little while. Okay, with that, Monokoma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. For who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayak and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. There's more to it than that. There's also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. Yet yeah, even such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now it's time to wall in your in your depression. The worst thing we do right now is lose all faith in each other. That we would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. What you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Can anything think of think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> my times I've told you, anyone who couldn't can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing waiting those who are unable or willing to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right, we need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choices do we, choice do we have? <laughs> no way in my hell letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. We were just using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But if they're right, we'll just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. Top of that, there's something you need to find out. I had to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified about to find out, but still I have to know. Otherwise, I'd know I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Oh my god. I think that's the end for that. That was a lot to take in. I will talk to you guys later.